Martini Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious bratwurst, peppers, and onions. And also we're going to make some amazing baked beans. This recipe pretty much bomb. So easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my bratwurst and baked beans before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. First thing that you will need is some nice, fresh bratwurst. I have washed my bratwurst off, and then we've had them dry with a paper towel. You will need a couple of ingredients. Now, we're gonna need some peppers. So I have some red and green bell peppers here, and you're gonna need some nice sweet Vidalia onions. And also, along with our uh, bratwurst, we like to have hot jalapeno peppers. You're gonna need some ketchup and mustard, of course. And also for our baked beans, we're gonna be using this kind of baked beans. You will need some sugar. You can use brown sugar or white sugar. I'm using brown sugar today. And for our baked beans, the meat that we're gonna use would be some bacon. I have some nice thick cut smoky bacon here. And you're gonna need some beautiful buns. When you think about making a bratwurst, it's really important that you have a nice bratwurst bun. So this is the kind that we have here. And you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. Here's what you need this way. You will need really interesting ingredient, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how easy it is to make this delicious meal. Like this meal right here, we have to have this often because it's easy to make. Who doesn't love bratwurst? Like we all love bratwurst and then we all love some good old baked beans. This baked bean recipe is a piece of cake and it's packed with flavor. Now, I wouldn't like, when I, when I make sausage, I always, always, or you know, bratwurst, I always like to have the bell peppers and the onions. It's really gonna yank this recipe to the tip top. So now, not only are we gonna cut bell peppers for our bratwurst, but we're gonna put some bell peppers into our baked beans as well. It gives the baked beans an amazing flavor. So let's get to cutting some of our veggies just like so. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Hope you all are having a great week as well. Now, when it comes to um, the peppers and onions, I literally just kind of do, you know, like pieces like that for our bell peppers and onions. And in my pan here, if I can show you, I have just a tad bit of vegetable oil and about a tablespoon and a half of sweet cream butter. And that's gonna help to saute up our bell peppers and our onions and give them a nice, beautiful flavor. Anytime I saute up, bell peppers and onions. I always like to salt it. I feel like when you salt your veggies, you, you give it a, a more amazing flavor. Like it's amazing itself, right? But then you turn around and you salt it and you give it extra flavor. Okay, so this will be for our sausages. When I come back, I will have the onions nice and cut. Same way, we're just gonna slice them up and I'll show you what you need to do next. So now I have bell peppers and onions and we're gonna use these chopped up bell peppers and onions for our baked beans. And then um, these sliced bell peppers and onions and the different color are gonna be used for our sausages or, you know, our bratwurst. Okay, here's what I like to do. Get them into some water, right? And what I like to do is I literally like to cook my bratwurst in water or you could use like a broth if you like and I like to halfway cook them because after I halfway cook them, I know once I start to brown them, it's gonna to continue to cook them the rest of the way. I like a beautiful golden brown color onto my bratwurst. And I feel like, I honestly, I do. I feel like when you boil the bratwurst ahead of time before getting that you know gorgeous color onto them, I feel like they taste better. And they're always nice and juicy. So these are gonna get cooked for a little while. I'm gonna put these on the stove behind me. When I come back, we're gonna get started on these amazing baked beans, Gina Young style. Got the bratwurst boiling. We have the bell peppers and onions with a little bit of butter, a little bit of vegetable oil, sauteing up, and I did salt them. Anytime I cook bell peppers and onions, give them a little bit of salt and make them nice and sweeter. 
it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. Okay, so what I want to do, let's go ahead and empty the contents of our baked beans right into our pan just like so. I like to use two or three cans. Sometimes you'll see me use two cans, you know. All depending on who I'm cooking for. All right, just like so in this manner. And this is a 12 by nine baking dish that we're going to be using. And then next we're gonna start off with one cup of brown sugar. And what I like to do is I like to taste it to see how sweet it is. One thing you don't wanna do is ever make your baked beans too sweet. There are some people out there that like to make the baked beans too sweet and then you kind of ruin it, you know? So now what we're gonna put in here is really interesting ingredient. You could put tomato paste in here, you could put tomato sauce, or you could use ketchup or barbecue sauce. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use some ketchup, and honestly, I never measure it. Just get you some in there. It's gonna give a great flavor, okay? Get in there just like so. Great flavor right there. And then we're gonna put our bell peppers and onions in. We're gonna give this a nice stir, and then we wanna taste the sweetness to see if you're happy with that one cup of brown sugar. If you're not happy, then you're gonna go ahead with a little bit more sweetness in. I'm gonna mix this up, and I'll be right back. So now after putting in the one cup of brown sugar, I did feel like we needed a little bit more sugar. So what I did was I put one third of a cup of brown sugar in, and hopefully this will be exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and get our cinnamon in there. Don't be shy with the cinnamon. Cinnamon makes this amazing. If you like nutmeg or allspice, you can put that in there and it's delicious as well. A lot of people can't believe it. They can't believe that I put vanilla extract in my beans and guess what? <laughs> it's delicious. You bet it is. I'm gonna put some salt in, okay? Anytime you're making something sweet, you need something salty to kind of counterbalance it. I don't know if that's the right word that I'm looking for, but we'll go ahead and use it. Now, before we put our meat in, let's talk about the possibilities of what you could put into your beans. You could put like a smoked sausage in here. You could put ground beef in here, like have fun with it. You could put ham in here. So now all I wanna do is I really wanna taste that sauce right there to see if I'm happy with all of these amazing flavors. Mm -hmm. mm, that's it. I'm so happy. So now I'm going to put this aside just like so. And now what I want to do, I'm going to cut some bacon. A lot of people like to cook their bacon before putting it into the baked beans. I feel like if you cook the bacon before you put it into the baked beans, you don't really get that, that flavor from the smoked bacon. I feel like when you let the bacon render down and bake into the baked beans, that's where you reach the most flavor from this bacon. So this is about, let's just say five or six pieces of bacon. And what I wanna do is let's go ahead, get that gorgeous bacon right into here. Get this in the oven until the beans are done. That bacon will render off some amazing fat and flavor and your beans are pretty much done. Now we'll take a look over here at our uh, bell peppers and the onions, they are doing exactly what I want them to do. Let's get these beans in the oven, and when I come back, we'll be taking our sausage out of the water and getting them golden brown. Our peppers and onions are done, and notice we didn't cook like the daylights out of them. You still want them to have some beautiful color, and how you're able to achieve that is not cooking the daylights out of them. So we cooked them until the onions are nice and translucent. All right, so those are done. Our bratwurst are cooked. So now we're gonna put them into this pan and in my pan you can see that I have some vegetable oil and we're gonna cook these babies until they're golden brown on all sides. Keep in mind that we did cook these half of the way. So by time they're brown on all sides, they're gonna be completely cooked all the way through. And then you eat them with those bell peppers and also you eat them with the jalapeno peppers. The baked beans are in the oven. It's lunchtime at the Young's house. I couldn't be more excited. Look at that. We have some gorgeous color onto our bratwurst. And honestly, don't rush it. Like you have all the time in the world. This meal does not take forever and a day to cook. All you're looking for is that right there, that gorgeous color. And then we're going to set these right on top of a nice bed of our fresh veggies, which is our bell peppers and onions, just like so. Here in a few minutes, we'll get those baked beans out of the oven, and it's lunchtime. 
take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young style, bratwurst, peppers and onions, and homemade baked beans. Make yourself the perfect lunch, the perfect dinner. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know to the whole world about Tina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a prayer so you all can get that bite. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again. Once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you. For your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make the decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite meals. So now let's take a look at the baked beans. Let's look at the beans in the pan first. Gorgeous, right? And the longer they sit, they taste better. Let's go right on in. If I didn't say amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Amen. Look at that. They're hot. I really don't want to burn my mouth. But I almost feel like I have to taste them. They are so delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Beautifully seasoned, not too sweet is the key. Mm. Mm -hmm. In the broth, mm -mm -mm. my husband likes the um, jalapenos. So we're gonna put some on there. So we have the mustard. We have the ketchup, the bell peppers, and the onions in that gorgeous bratwurst. Take a bite. As always, God bless you all. Thank you all for 